Um, in addition, I've noticed that even in birth control Facebook groups I follow, um, that young women are not confident even in their pharmaceutical birth control methods they're on. Uh, there's constant question, oh, I, you know, could I get pregnant? I'm on this shot or I'm on that or I have this IUD. And, um, and so there's constant pregnancy fears. What can you tell people who are unsure uh, and constantly worried about pregnancy? how fertility awareness methods could help them. Um, do you have any words to say to patients concerned about that? Absolutely. So, I mean, I think the issue is, number one, is this method bad for me in any way? And we know that contraceptives have major side effects. They can affect the way that you even visualize the person that you're with, like the kind of person that you're attracted to. It modifies those feelings that you have, how you sense people and it can increase your risk for cancer. So those two reasons in and of themselves are reasons to consider doing something other than the hormonal contraceptives. In addition, if you have any underlying issues that may interfere with your fertility in the future, this is gonna really put a wrench in it by using contraceptive pills. If you use the contraceptive pills, you're simply putting a Band-Aid over all of your issues and you're saving them up for later. And rather than addressing them earlier on in your life, you're allowing them to kind of get worse and worse and worse underneath that hormonal coverage that you're hiding the issue with. But rather, when you use these fertility awareness-based methods, not only will you be able to identify when you're fertile and when you're not fertile, but in addition, you'll be able to identify all the signs and symptoms of any possible underlying issue that you could have. So down the road, when you are ready to conceive and you're hoping to conceive quickly, if you haven't dealt with those issues that you have, that's going to really postpone your time to be able to conceive. And it's going to make your pregnancies much more dangerous. But if instead you're already looking at the issues from the get-go, you can address them from the get-go. You can be much healthier and you can have confidence in your method. That's fantastic. And I mean, speaking of birth control methods um, that, that a lot of people are, so I've read a lot of people's concerns of getting pregnant on them. Um, as it happens, it can happen. And can you speak a little bit about breakthrough ovulation and when a young woman or you know any birth control user may experience a heavier period, what that may mean? Absolutely. So oftentimes, you know, when you use birth control, you'll find that you have these very light cycles because the backup mechanism of action of those birth control pills is to thin that inner lining of the uterus. When you thin the inner lining of the uterus, what happens is if you were to conceive, then that embryo cannot implant properly because the lining is too thin. And if the lining is too thin, then it will try to implant, it will begin a pregnancy, and then all of a sudden you'll have a very heavy bleed and you'll be like, what happened? I typically have really light periods every month with my birth control, and this month I had a really heavy period and it was just so strange. Well, if you're sexually active, it could have been that you actually accidentally aborted or miscarried a pregnancy without even intending to do so. So it's really concerning. The majority of people who are on birth control have zero desire to eliminate their children when they actually happen. And so it, it's really scary.